Peeps, it's Eileen Fee of Transform Your Body Fitness. I'm a physical therapist and a fitness coach. And what do I have for you today? Pull-ups. And I know what most of you are saying. Well, I didn't wake up this morning and want to learn how to do pull-ups. <laughs> most people don't really think about doing pull-ups. I get it. But they do have health benefits. If do you have a neck injury? Do you have shoulder injuries? What I would say, these are the reasons why you need to look at doing a pull-up or at least a modified pull-up. That's the reason for this series, trying to teach you ways of things that you wouldn't normally think of doing, first of all, because the exercise seems too scary, and number two, because of your injury, and number three, for some people, it's even their physical ability. They, they just don't feel that they would ever be strong enough to do a pull-up. So, I want to show you some different ways of being able to do pull-ups. There's several modifications. Hang in there with me, but I need to show you the first or the the, the full blown out movement first. So here we go. Bitch. <laughs> Couldn't always do that. I did several of the modifications that I'm about to show you. So don't think that you have to do what I just did. So the first modification I wanna show you is still using the pull-up bar, but with what I call pull-up assist. Pull-up assist, you can really get at any sporting goods store. It clips around the top of the pull-up bar. has a loop to put your foot. It's a hell of a lot easier with the pull-up assist. Both ways, you develop strength. You're getting a squeeze in between your shoulder blades. You're working your upper back. You're working your um, upper neck muscles. So you're really getting a lot of strength work and that's why you need to be doing these exercises, especially like I mentioned, if you have injuries to your shoulders and your neck, build up the strength muscles to protect those areas. That's the point. That will help decrease pain. It will help to keep you healthy and active. Now there's two more modifications I wanna show you, but I need to change the position of the camera. Hang in there with me. Okay, now I don't know whether you can see this due to the angle of the camera, but there, this is a resistive band, it's attached, and it goes and it wraps around the door hinge to keep it stable and secure. So this modification, you get on the floor, and what you're gonna do is the same motion that I did with the pull-up, and that's having your arms go wider than your shoulders. And what you need to do is get in a good position so that your head stays in alignment with your spine. So it's not that you're sitting up, you're angled, but your head is in line with your spine and you're doing that movement that you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. Now, again, I know for some people, they can't get out of a chair, so they wouldn't obviously consider doing a pull-up or a pull-up motion, have them sit in a chair. Same thing, make sure you're in a good position, just angle your body a little bit, and bring your arms past your shoulders so that they're wider and you're squeezing your shoulder blades together. I'm telling you, if you do this, you're gonna stay healthier. You're gonna get stronger. And it's not about becoming Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's about becoming healthier to stay functional. And that's the name of the game. And I hope that what you're beginning to see, you can take any crazy exercise move and instead of saying no I can't do it I wouldn't even try it get curious 
begin to start to at least try it because there's ways of breaking it down and then you start from maybe the basic move and you work your way up. That's basically what I did. I couldn't do a full uh, blown pull up uh, originally. I had to start from the basics. So even if you're somebody that's interested in fitness, um, you can start at the basics and work your way up. But even if you have neck injuries, shoulder injuries, and you only are gonna stay at the basic level, that's okay. It's still providing incredible strength and health benefits. Guys, it's about staying as healthy as we can for as long as we can. More to come in this series of bridging the gap between physical therapy and home fitness, and especially to help you to not use your injury as an excuse. Guys, have a great day. More to come. Boop, boop.